Good morning guys and welcome back to another video and it's a little bit wet today yeah here in the UK we have had lots of wind and rain and a lot of these reserves are now very wet and underwater so yeah um, I've just spent about three hours here at the lower hide this morning came here when it was dark um, had a really good morning um, to be honest I mean it is windy so there's not a lot of uh, birds around uh, managed to video some har a harrier flying by uh, what have we had we've had some teal swans Canadian geese um, and just recently some otters came up and were playing in the water and diving down for fish um, and managed to get a I think I videoed it I'm not too sure if I did or not a harrier hovering over the uh, the otters as they were eating the fish thinking about grabbing the fish off the the otters uh, so that was quite good to watch um, so yeah it's really really wet here uh, everything's underwater all the paths are, are practically underwater here um, so yeah I'm gonna make my way over to one of the other highs now and see what's happening over the other side of the reserve It does make vlogging a little bit harder doing it in the water. So yeah, this is the path back to the causeway. Completely underwater. Fortunately, it's uh, it is a gravel path, so I can make out. Uh, the gravel under the water. Oh, there was a J there. I don't know if you saw the J. Oh, let's have a walk up. There's a J just ahead of us in the tree. Okay, I'm back on the uh, causeway now. Um, as you can see, the paths are pretty flooded behind me. And this estuary that they have that cuts through here is just a couple of inches off uh, reaching each other on this raised platform that I'm stood on. Um, so it's been a really good morning so far. Um, yeah, so when I was walking down the path before, uh, I saw a jay flying to a tree. I uh, made my way a little closer and managed to get some photo and video of the jays. So that was really nice. And there are actually four in the field. Um, I saw three fly off and as I walked a little bit further on, another one flew off from a tree in front of me. So yeah, so four jays in the field there. So that was quite nice to see. Um, so I'm going to make my way up to the uh, Causeway High, see if there's anything there. If there's not, then I'm going to go to the visitor centre, take a quick break, get something to eat and drink. <coughs> Um, and then make my way over to the other hides this afternoon. The weather's not too bad, so it's brightening up quite nicely. Um, so yeah, 
good day so far and I'm only halfway through it. So there's one area along the path here that I really like. Um, it always tends to be lots of little birds in this, just in this one spot. You can get tree creepers, gold crests, robins, blue tits, grey tits, wagtails. There just seems to be an abundance of little birds that just hang around this one little area, which is really nice. I've just managed to photograph a, uh, a tree creeper. What a cracking image that is. Lovely shot of the tree creeper just on the side of the tree. Yeah, so I'm going to carry on photographing here for a little bit and uh, if I get any more pictures and videos, I'll put them up. So I'm just going to go into the Grisdale hide now and see what we have here. Just seen a harrier fly overhead. So hopefully we'll have some wonderful photos from this Grisdale hide. Okay, so welcome to the Grisdale Hyde. Um, the weather's quite nice, the sun keeps going in and out. Um, just saw a harrier flying around on the way in, so I'm hoping to get some, uh, some more photos of the harrier. And whatever else turns up. So yeah, what have we got out on the water? Coots, Wigian, geese, Canadian geese, um, and that's about it. Uh, so let's see what turns up anyway. Let's have some chocolate and relax. Hmm, dairy milk mint. Cracking chocolate this. Just what you need. On a winter's day, some good old chocolate.
Okay, so I've been in the uh, Grisdale hide for a while now, <coughs> probably a good couple of hours. Um, not a great deal going on. Saw some harriers flying around, uh, we've got some swans. No, we didn't have swans, we had geese. And some mallard ducks and some coots, and that was about it really. Uh, not an awful lot going on, so I just did a bit of photography, did a bit of videography. Um, photographing those birds um, but yes yeah, really is quiet saw an egret fly by but that was quite way in the distance um, so I'm just gonna nip over to one of the other highs now and just see if there's anything happening over there um, and then I'll stop making my way back to one of to um, Lillian hide I think and then I'll go there and see what's happening over that end of the uh, reserve seen quite a lot. Um, started off this morning with the otters and the harriers um, and then what do we see? Then we saw the, the jays, that was really good to see um, and then we moved on to a couple of the other hides, didn't see a great deal there. Uh, got a fantastic photo of a uh, tree creeper so I'm happy with that um, and then there was quite a lot of siskin over in the tree so there's probably about, there must have been th at least 30 in this tree um, so I had to do manual focus because they were just all over the place hanging upside down behind branches just shooting against the the sky so it was really difficult so I'm hoping I got some decent shots of the siskins uh, and then while I was photographing that I just caught a red wing out the corner of my eye um, and that flew in behind a load of brambles and twigs um, so I had to do manual focus just to study the tripod and, and zoom in and do a manual focus on that to get some shots and video of the red wing um, and then I've just come up to the sky tower I think it's called the sky tower um, and a lady just came up and asked me what this bird was um, she pointed to a bird down on the sort of the mud flats down here and it was a water pipit um, which I've only seen once before here and that was over at the I think it was the Grisdale uh, hide um, so yeah, that was wandering around, and in fact it's still down there on the, uh, the mud flats there, but the light is pretty bad now, it's about half past three, um, there's a big hill here so the sun's gone behind there and it's cloudy, um, but yeah it's been a great day, thanks everybody for watching, subscribing, nice to meet you all out in the field as always, um, please like, share, do whatever, it all helps. I'm, uh, Going out again next week, the weather looks really good next Tuesday, Wednesday, so I'm going to go out for two days. Uh, I've got two new locations to go to, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, so this video might be up just on the Monday or the Tuesday, uh, but it's been a great day. Um, great photography. Until next time, guys, thank you very much.